So today I wanted to build a meta AKM because it's not really something that I've done all too often. Now the AKM is probably one of the most underused rifles in Escape from Tarkov because the M4, the HK, AK-74, and others are usually better options. But the AKM isn't horrible because it shoots a BP round and BP is actually surprisingly good in the economy of the game right now and it shreds through armor and for the most part is going to get the job done. The problem with the AKM tends to be with the recoil. It has extremely high base recoil and can be difficult to control unless you heavily modify that. And the difference can be as like if you put a suppressor on the gun, you're gonna lose a lot of recoil control. Like a compensator when building a meta AKM is pretty much essential. So the build goes like this. We got a land tech compensator on the weapon, a commander handguard, a RK2 foregrip, an RK3 pistol grip, a Zukov buttstock, and for the optic, we're gonna use one of the optics that actually provides recoil control. So there's a couple in the game. You got the Cobra, you got the OKP7, and you got the Night Force and the FF416. Now on the screen right now, you see me combining a Cobra and a Night Force, which both give recoil control, but unfortunately it met, well fortunately, cause this looks ridiculous, it matches a commander handguard. So there's no additional benefit to running this build as say a commander handguard and a night force. But the OKP7 OK with the dovetail provides you with some recoil control. So going with that optic is the ideal play for me, unless you like a Cobra scope. But the OKP7 OK dovetail is actually a really good optic, super reliable, and is typically a favorite amongst Escape from Tarkov players. So it's the obvious go-to choice. I'm running 50 round uh, AKM magazines because they only take up two slots where the other drum mags take up four. So that's an ideal choice for this weapon setup as well. And honestly, this is my favorite AKM that you can build in the game. It performs surprisingly well, and I recommend that you guys give this a chance at least once to maybe switch your opinion on the AKM, especially when running with BP ammo. But honestly, even if you ran this with PS, you probably wouldn't do as bad as you'd expect. So that being said, let's jump into a lot of different PVP scenarios where this AKM gets put to the ultimate test. You would just like spray it at somebody and try to zero out there. Okay. Ow. Damn. The alternate came in clutch there. Yep. Gonna run it back. <laughs> we got a full kit. Picked up a slick. Oh, what? I don't have my factory key in this set. Yo, I have a factory key in every set. I guess we're not running it back. Okay. Well, that sucks. Wow, one bullet. What the hell did he have in those mags? Like one bullet uh, fractured my arm or like, was it one or two? Both went into the same arm at the same time. Dude, fucking arm meta, man. Start using hollow points and shoot people in the arms. Shit, man, it's been a while since I played Factory. I mean, picked up a slick and an X fill, so I mean, I'm not I'm not that upset with that. It's not bad.
Gotta kick off the rust with some of the boys, though, that's for sure. Goddamn Ruskies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy was a USEC, brother. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I never even camp up here. I feel like, uh, yeah, man, I've never, I've never been killed by somebody up here either. This is greasy. This is a greasy spot. Movement. It's a scav. Ooh, another trooper armor. About half. Are you nuts? What the hell? Oh man, I, my life flashed before my eyes there. M1? That's a nice AK-74, I respect it. Ditch it for him. Uh, but here's the awkward moment where I'm like, ah, oh, can't take, uh, can't take the M1. That's okay. I don't really need to. Hipster AK? Yeah, I dig it. I kind of like that AK build a little bit, so I ditched it for the guy just so he can get it back from insurance returns. Okay. The M1 is toast? Yeah, it's, it's pretty scuffed. Oh, shit. I forgot to turn off the alarm. Not that one? No, this is the one. Okay. It works? Yeah, it's always worked. Okay. Oh, I thought you had to do the bottom floor alarm. I'm pretty sure both work the same way. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they both work the same way. As long as you don't open the second door into Kiba, like, you should be okay. Always since the lighting patch. Right, that's what I meant. Um, since they added the alarm, you've always been able to disable it.
Might as well just do the spray, the spray down, you know? Yeah, I feel like AKM, you gotta pre-fire it because you're gonna lose like the rate of fire battle. You know how you do it? Well, my body armor is what saved me there. You know he's mad? I mean, he goosed it pretty good. Flamethrower or AKM? I don't know if he was alone or what. I'm looking. Oof. Oh, that guy did more damage to my body armor than the first guy. Holy smokes. What is he using? Vepper Hunter? I don't know. Maybe he had a Mose in his hands there. I have no idea, but he fucked me up. Oof, this guy's been busy. Yeah, I'm not taking the VSS. I'm just gonna take his attachments. At least I think so for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take his attachments. Uh, actually, I could take it. I could take it. Never mind. The VSS isn't that like high value, so. Um, I guess we can just like throw the shit back on, but um we really want that either. Okay. SP6 is what he's got. Ow. God damn it. <laughs> Where the fuck did that even come from? Bro, I want to go out the um, secured container way, but I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to. Fuck. 18 months already. Question mark. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck hit me, man. It was like some sort of like... It almost sounded like a suppressed pistol, but I don't know. It's probably something more. It's probably that dude's buddy, to be honest, just holding like a weird angle and just was kind of looking for me, you know, and then came back to the body and see me running away. And it, it honestly sounded like a VPO 215 suppressed, but I don't know if that's what it was. 
Oh, yeah, suppressed DVL. Holy shit, that's actually that's a good that's a good take. That actually kind of sounded like a suppressed DVL. Totally could have been what it was. All right, our uh, our stim is going to wear off here like very soon. Our endurance stim. Oh, I called it. Ah, uh, well, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay. What we got here? Nothing on that wall? Oh man, we got we kind of got screwed. Wow. Forty-five rounder, dude. Forty-five round mags are really bad sale value. Really, really bad. Man, that was a crazy raid. That was a good raid. Yo, we got uh, Jubilee. Thanks for the eight-month recommitment, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Two second extractions, fast as fuck. Yeah, that's why you can't like close the door and then loot. You have to loot first, then close the door. Well, finally got some shots. Sounds like it's coming from Goshen. Okay. Wall? I'm not seeing a gun on the wall. Yeah, you could turn off the alarms. You could always turn off the alarms for Kippa. You want to disable the alarm system before you unlock the door. Oh. He doesn't know that I he doesn't know that I know that he's there. Unless it's uh Killa. That's a player. No, I don't think those are teammates. Yeah, I don't think they're teammates. You got Bannerlord a couple days ago? You're so hooked. Yo, I'm glad. Good game, man. A lot to do. A lot you can do. bring um an endurance stim you know and, oh he's got uh he's got good ammo though what holy 
smokes. That guy took a lot of heat. All right. Oof. Yeah, we're at the point where, like, we're past the point of no return. If I do something like this. I didn't even loot the other guy. We're 57 kilos like this. Yeah, we're a big chonker. Okay. I mean, we could go check the other guy, I guess. Holy shit, this guy had an x fill on? Yeah, this guy was way more geared than I expected him to be. Get a slick? Holy shit. I guess I'm leaving the tac tech behind. Alright. Uh, a roasted? How roasted is it? It's not that bad. It's fine. It's got good repair value. This one? This is like a weird-ass Zukov Magpole. I, I mean, I, I, I respect it. It's weird to run this gun, though, in a slick. That's kind of like a weird combination. Okay. Makes them ugly on purpose. Yeah, this... My AK, though, is not ugly. Right? You're not making fun of my AK, right? This thing's fucking amazing. Yes, it is. What? Oh, come on, man. All AKs are ugly. Oh. You're just being mean, brother. Yeah, the 50 round magazines is where it's at. All right, hold on. It's very, dude, it's very expensive. Yeah, this is uh, 62. The most recoil I got it to is 60. But I'm, I thought we had it to 69 or 59 before during the kill a farm. But yeah, this is the lowest I can get it without being dumb. We can get it too lower with a knife force. So use a knife force with a PKO 6 on the top of the 34 millimeter rail. But this is like the best AK without looking dumb. Without looking like two cheese, right? But the knife force can help a little bit. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yo, that was a good raid too. Holy shit. Damn. Run T45s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bannerlord on YouTube. Uh... Yeah, see, I don't know what I want to do there. I definitely want to upload some. People won't be interested if you don't put it out there. Get them. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. It's more of like a... I don't really know. What to work on. The chop completion. Man. Everyone in the comments is going to be like... Um, actually, Deadly, if you actually chop off the Lord's heads, you are going to ruin the, the reputation level of the clan. And whenever you run into another clan's person, they are not going to let you go. And, and then you're going to piss off the faction that you work with. And I'm going to be like, yo, man, listen. We've been there, done that, brother. Yo, I think they updated it so I can actually get killed, though. Like, they can chop my head off now in Bannerlord. There's a big patch. A video series on trying to get the wife. Yeah, no, and if we get... Oh. What's with the dudes crawling around? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It looks like you're going to kill yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nope. Please don't. Don't do it. This guy was geared. Holy shit, this guy was geared.
You know what? Running a gen for a high mobility is not a bad play right now. Because it's so heavy. It's so heavy that I feel like nobody wants to take it. He's using green tracers. In what though? Why? I'm so confused. Why do you have the green tracers? Repair shit though? What? Gen 4 high mobility? No, it doesn't. What are you what are you talking about? I think you're thinking of the other one, dude. You're thinking of the other body armor, the other class 5 that kind of looks similar but is green. Yeah, no, people ditch it because it's too heavy to take. And like uh Yeah. Holy shit, we are pretty. There's another guy to my left. player scav of a vepper hunter that would have been perfect yup That ACAM is pretty much a laser right now. Yeah, that's why I'm not putting a suppressor on it. Okay. It's a big beefy. Big Burfa. The beefinator. I don't know about the guy down the way. I think the dude down the way is still alive. How do I spot people so easy? Ah, you play this game enough. I miss every. I miss a lot of people though. See, I'm always looking for people far away. Never close in. It's kind of shitty. So like sometimes I'll walk right by a guy. Especially if my eyes are on the chat. I'm like reading something. I won't even see it. Like walk by people all the time. Come on, let's go. Oh shit, this guy. Ah! That was unnecessary. Come on. Come on. Oh no, it's not open. I just like collapsed with exhaustion, like, oh! The disappointment. I mean, I could go and check the, um, the old gas station to see if that's open. What is my recoil control level? Level 48. And we're leveling it up unintentionally. So, yeah. I mean, if there's any positive to spraying like this, I guess it's that. The burning bush is not there, which means the extraction is not open. You got to bring an SJ-6 all the time. Yeah, I usually do. We burned it a couple raids ago, and I just never put it back in the container. But you are right. Does the beard give him strength? It helps. It helps hide how scared I am. Footstep step on metal, but... I get full stamina just in case we need it.
Holy shit. <laughs> Man, we are lucky. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Good shit. Yo, this AKM. This AKM's been pretty dope. 